<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another, another Sunday episode. It's the same day as the last video, last two, three videos. But since I'm not watching the NFL anymore uh, because of their bullshit and uninformed social justice messaging, when honestly, if I want to watch that, I'll just watch Don Lemon and throw up in my mouth or I'll watch Sean Hannity and clap. So I want to explain to you why these black athletes, these black men, and any black man that supports BLM and the Democrats are Uncle Toms and sellouts. Let me explain it to you. All the popular Democrat policies of the last 40, 50, 60 years, I'm almost 50, so let's go 70 years, are designed to destroy the black household. But understanding, the Democrats say they completely understand that black men operate, black people operate off emotion. So they tear into those emotions. That's why they fear men like Malcolm X. Cause see, Malcolm didn't operate off emotions. He actually looked at the situation and determined what was. He actually took the facts of the situation and determined what was. <clears throat> and one thing you'll Notice about Malcolm, if you go back and actually watch some of his YouTube videos, is he never had anything to say, anything nice to say about liberals and Democrats. Because he realized their policies destroy the black community because they destroy the black family base. Perfect example. How many black men out there right now are running around screaming Black Lives Matter, Breonna Taylor, and Jacob Blake, and you're screaming for a rapist and a drug dealer? And the people who are having you scream it are the ones destroying your family base and your community. Black Lives Matter made $1.6 million last year. God knows how much they've made this year. I say $1.6 million, I meant $1.6 billion. Have they put any of that money back into the community to teach young black kids about finances? To teach them about family structure? No, nope, 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 nope. Their website till just a few days ago said they were trained Marxists and they were here to destroy the patriarchy. They don't want the black man in the household. But you idiots go screaming for it. Why, I don't know. Probably because you're just stupid. It is what it is. So, <clears throat> with that being said, let me explain to you how this works. Marie Singer. And not my Marie Singer, who's a horse trainer out in Texas. Very lovely woman. Her and her husband, Brian. Great people. Love them. They actually talked me out to get into the horse breeding thing because it's a full-time job. And I'm not that into it. But Marie Singer, who started the whole pro-abortion thing. Now, notice what they're complaining about now with uh, Trump's new uh, Supreme Court justice pick. is that because of her Catholic faith... She may fight to overturn Roe versus Wade, even though the woman already said, if the, you know, however, the former Supreme Court justices uh, uh, judge that she's probably going to stick with that. She's not here to overturn anything. She's here to do her job to make sure laws are applied equally and to make sure the Constitution, when laws are made, is correctly applied to those laws and make sure those laws are within the bounds of the Constitution. They don't care about that. No. See, because they want black women to have the option of having an abortion or throwing the man out the house and living a lifetime on welfare. This is exactly what they want. It's exactly what they're doing. And it destroys the black family structure. So BLM is just the new version of that. Think about it. It started by three lesbian women who stated goal was to end patriarchy. Think about it. Just stop and think about it for a minute. <clears throat> so they have their super abortion kick. And then when Trump said, we're going to help people get jobs instead of leaving them on a lifetime of welfare. Oh my God. The whole Democrat world had a fit. How could he? Because they know as long as those black people depend on them, as long as those black mothers depend on Democrats, They'll vote for him. But what happens 
when the black culture starts to change. Because you can see now, uh, a few years ago, I made a video. Uh, it's, it's, it's on my YouTube page. It's the one where I'm in a gray sweater and a black hat. And I was one of the only few black conservatives out there. Now you, you throw a rock, you hit a black conservative because black people are waking up to your tricks, Democrats. You want our women and children, our women and, and, and uh, young ladies to have abortions because you don't want black children. We, you're racist. Democrats, liberals are racist. You want to keep our women on welfare and the man at the house. So the young black boys that are born to those young black women end up in your prison ranks where you can get free and cheap labor. Look at the major investors in the prison system. They're all Democrats. That's what you want. That's the most racist shit I've ever heard. So what do you do? You point the black community towards the cops. The cops are killing black people, which is honestly not true. Not true. You create this culture and you use the most ignorant in our culture. Yeah, I'm saying it. Ignorant. Thank you, Fabulous Lucas. I'm still in that. I hope you didn't copyright it. If you did and you try to sue me, I ain't got no money. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. But they use the most ignorant in our community. The ones that propagate, propagate, they push forward. Drug dealing, a life of lawlessness, sexual misconduct. Look at Cardi B. The proof is there. Joe Biden hadn't done an interview with anybody. Who did he do his first big interview with? Cardi B. The woman who can't even speak a correct English sentence. Does that make sense to you? The woman who wrote WAP. And... If I told you what WAP stood for, YouTube would take my video down. That's why I don't post on Facebook anymore. Because anytime you post something right wing in Facebook, they flag you with their bullshit ass fact checkers. <clears throat> but, and it occurs to me, because you got people like LeBron James, who was raised by a single mother. Who's been a multimillionaire since he was 18. He's probably a billionaire now, at least close. And they jump on these popular topics. See, that's why your ratings have failed, NBA, because people, black people, real black people, not the house Negroes, are waking up and they're leaving the Democrat plantation. It was very wise the way Candace Owen said that, leave the Democrat plantation, because that's truly what it is. See, they've made you modern day slaves. Because you have to count on Democrats for your reproductive rights to tell you what to think of society. See, because these rappers, a lot of these rappers, most of them, they don't tell you about investing. No, what do they do? Consumerism. Hey, go buy that new Mercedes. Go buy that new Phantom, even if you can't afford it. Go buy some diamonds. Get the biggest house on the block, even if you can't afford it. And this leads to generational welfare, not generational wealth. Really ridiculous. So I'm saying it here and now. Yeah, the Democrats, the Democrats are racist. Liberals are racist. And I'll give you further proof. I posted something on my personal Facebook, joking around with a friend. I had this uh, uh, white BLM friend. She comes on, you know what she says? It was about Kanye West. She goes, you can't use your platform for that. And I very quickly corrected her. You don't tell me what the hell to use my platform for. This is my platform. You do not own me. Stay the fuck in your lane. Sorry about that. Got a little bit out of control. I apologize. It just really, really upset me because I saw what was happening. See, because these young white people, young white men and women who run Black Lives Matter. See, now they feel they have the right to tell black men what to do. Guess what? You don't. Hey, the rest of, of black people might not be on to you, but you, you can bet some of us are on to you. Charles Barkley, Shaq, Jason Whitlock, which I will say Jason Whitlock was on to it before me, way before me. Candace Owens, the Hodge twins, Officer Tatum, the amazing Lucas. We ain't playing around no more. We, we realize your tricks and your games. Democrats are, are I'm going to say this and I'm, I'm going to be done. 
Democrats are racist. Liberals are racist. And the black people that support them are Uncle Toms and House Negroes. So you House Negroes and Uncle Toms have a good time going out there with your Black Lives Matter sign that was given to you by a self-hating Jew. And you just go around and you have fun with that. The rest of us, we're going to be tending to our business. I'm tuning out the NBA. I've tuned out the NFL. And you know what that means? On Sundays when I would usually, from 10 in the morning to 8 o'clock at night, watch NFL games. As you've noticed by the videos I've put up today, I'm getting a lot more done. Huh. Amazing how that works. So, to all you Democrats and liberals, I say bye-bye. Have fun. Call you Uncle Toms and House Negroes. Have fun staying on that plantation. As for the Dan Dawson Show, we want nothing of it. So, thank you for watching this episode of the Dan Dawson Show. Like and subscribe. Do what you got to do.